Hey everybody, sorry it's taking so long to get another video up, but here it is. I uh, just couldn't pass up the day. It was beautiful, great weather, nice breeze, and uh, that's rare for us down here in Houston. So decided I'd come out, get some dirt time, play around, practice some skills, and uh, see if I could put together a video, try and remember how to. So catch you in a bit. Looking for some stuff to start a fire with here. And scouting around, I found this weird tree. It's got some sort of a, a web, sort of insect web all over it. Trying to find my way back to it. Alright. Let's, uh, let's swing you around here and see this. Whoa! So, if you can see that. Not entirely sure what it is, but it runs all the way up that tree. The whole bark and everything is covered in it. So, uh, I'm going to see if I can get some of that off, wrap it around some pine needles, and see if that'll take a spark. But, I'll do that, and I'll get back to you. So, I tried the pine needles. I got a little bit, but it wasn't working too well. I switched over to a little twig of a pine. Had a little more rough edge to it, and uh, it seems to work a little better. So you can get it started here. It's almost just like pulling cotton candy up. You can see that on the video there. It's coming up in sheets. So if you can see here, underneath this web stuff, a bunch of brown spores or bug poops or something. So who knows if this will work or not. But give it a shot. So that must be what's making all the web. Oh, there we go. You can see them crawling around under the web down here. And it seems the only thing I have with me today is a tiny like three quarter inch fire steel. So this thing is not going to be fun to work with. I'm going to try and use the back end of my knife here just to give me the best shot. That was a good spark, but no luck with it. Try and break that up a little more. Well, that doesn't seem to be working, so we'll give this a, uh, a different try. Alright, so here's our next try. This is a tiny little Fresno lens about the size of a credit card. We're going to start including these in some of our uh, larger items later on. We'll see if, uh, just for sake of trying this tinder, see if we can get anything this way. Here we've got smoke already. Getting a lot of smoke, it just doesn't want to 
holding ember, so this might not be a good tender for us. Every time I come out here, I get more and more respect for Les Stroud. Really hard being your own camera person. We're just doing this one more time for the, uh, oh. For the sake of being thorough. Found a little bit better sun spot, but now the breeze picked up and the trees seem to be swaying over my sun. We'll see what happens. I think the lens works. It's just an operator error. into flames for a split second and this time I actually compacted that web and into a much smaller package so it's more dense Ugh, need something else for an ember So my camera battery died, and I gave up on the uh, the web that I found on the tree, or whatever that was, and uh, the trees kept blowing over my sun in my other spot, so I moved over here. Oh, speak of the devil. And I got some punky wood in here that I'm going to try, see if that'll make me a little bit bigger ember to work with. Could also be operator error, but a lot of times when I go out and do dark time, this is generally what I do. Play around, try different things. Just not sure if it's interesting enough for a video. We'll see. Surprisingly hard on the eyes too, using this real bright Fresnel lens. Realized that earlier, I stood up and couldn't see much, it felt dark out. Here we go. Take this back over. See if we can get there. Something else I wanted to show you guys this is the uh, new bite keychain. So this was one of the options. People decided on the design online. We ran a uh, vote on the Facebook page. So if you're not a fan on Facebook, this is usually how we design our products. And uh, we're gonna offer these in a in a limited number of colors, just to make them a little more affordable. And so far, it's looking like. Uh, black will be an option. There's also talk of doing reflective, maybe a, a dull green color, like an OD perhaps, and uh, kind of a more subtle blue, maybe a navy blue, something along those lines. So it's going to come in both of these options, either the flat or the spiral. And essentially what it's got in here is 10 feet of our 50 pound braided fishing line. Um, it's got a split shot weight and a size 8 fish hook and then it's all wrapped up in a little tube of aluminum foil it's a real minute piece but what you can do with that is uh, actually 
attach it to your hook, make sort of a, a flashy, you know, look to your lure and try to improvise something that way that can help you catch fish. And, you know, these are just meant to be zipper poles. Some people want to use them as keychains, that's cool too. Uh, just a size comparison here. Pull mine out. This is our, our typical companion keychain right here. Oh, ooh, get on the screen. So you can see it's significantly smaller. This one especially is really thin. And the uh, spiral looks real cool. But it's not quite as thin, so it's all personal preference. But essentially you just, you know, you would hook this around your zipper pull. Around the little small piece of your zipper. As a matter of fact, we'll just uh, take you over this way. Picture's worth a thousand words, right? So, right here. This guy is what we're talking about. So, other, whoop, trying to not knock over the camera while I'm doing this. So a lot of people have issues later in life, you know. These things wear out, get old, and essentially you would just take a small pair of pliers or something, stretch that split ring over there, slide it on like any other key ring, and then you would now have a more permanent, durable, metal-on-metal -metal slide that shouldn't wear out for quite a long time. And should you ever need it, you've got a micro-fishing kit inside here. You know, whether, whether it's actually a need in a survival situation or just got bored on your way home from work and wanted to go fishing. So check them out. They'll be online soon. It's the Bite Keychain. a quick note on my way out here. I'm just back out to where I parked. Um, snakes are always a big worry for me. And it's really hard while you're out there to keep an eye on everything. But the best bet is to move slow and uh, watch your foot placement. I was kind of getting a little rushed and trying to get things done in a set amount of time today. And uh, didn't quite remember that. I was thinking of the, uh, what do you say, there's a down log then it's best to actually step on the log and then jump over it in case there's a snake under it. Well, I followed that today and just about landed on a snake. He wasn't under the log, but he was about three feet away. So as I was jumping, he got spooked and uh, luckily ran away before I landed on him. But just one of those things to keep in mind, Always watch your foot placement and move slow. Anyway, heading out to the car here, getting tangled up in dogs. Uh, I'm going to put the camera away and catch you guys in the next one.